In today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the Canadians' most impressive prospects so far this season. Yes, yes, let's try and bring the morale up, boys. Let's do this. Starting things off with Joshua, who was by far the most impressive prospect at training camp, wasn't he? And guess what? He's been showing no signs of slowing down at all just yet. He's as hot as the devil's ass crack right now. Four points in three games with the Rocket. And I gotta say, I've watched every Laval game so far this season, and he's definitely one of their most dangerous looking players. Before this season began, I was really skeptical on how his game would transition from the queue to Laval, but even I gotta admit, we're only three games in right now, and he's been looking like an absolute stud down there. Now, is he gonna be the one that gets caught up at some point? Well, I don't know, because prospect number two is a young man that likes to go by the name of Mario Armia. He is, of course, who also just so happens to have four points in three games. I know many of you are not familiar with Mario Armia and his game at all, and he might even look like a former head player that's about 30 odd years old, but Mario Armia identifies as an 18 year old, guys. He's brand new to the organization, so help me God, and he's one of the Canadians' top young prospects right now, so keep an eye on him. As for everybody else in Laval, they kinda got a bit of a big rotation going on down there, don't they? Guys like Jared Davidson and Dude Where's Me Jar have only played one game yet for some reason, and I'd definitely like to see them get some more ice time. Laval hasn't even won a game yet, guys. Jeez. Next up, we're going to the OHL, where Florian Jack has been getting tossed out of games like a 16-year-old at a wit t-shirt contest. Get a load of this, he's only played five games so far this season, and he's already been given three misconducts. Can you believe it? Because I can believe it. First, he got tossed for slew footing, then he got tossed out of a game against the Peets for leaving the bench and pouring fuel on a line bra. And finally, a couple of days ago, he would get slapped on the PP once again, but this time, it was for instigating a scrap. What a legend. No, he's also got four points in five games, which I kind of thought was pretty good, you know, considering the amount of time he's actually been playing and, and not in the penalty box or getting kicked out. But it is what it is. He's a jack eye, and you gotta love him. Now let's take a look at Cedric Gwindon, who's off to a pretty good start once again for the Owen Sound attack. He's gotten himself seven points in his first seven games, but Owen Bick. <sighs> Guys, I need someone who watches the Pete's games to tell me what's been going on here. A bit of a slow start, okay? I'm not hitting the panic button just yet, but I am a little concerned. He's got just one point in his first five games. I do believe he's been playing second line center. I'm pretty sure Dubois is the first line center on that team. Of course, correct me if I'm wrong, but his point totals just have not been where they were last season, especially with the steel hits. Just saying. There's got to be more to the story here, and somebody's got to tell me what it is. Come on. Next up, we're going to Europe. Where 2023 first round draft pick David Reinbacker, also known as Popcorn, is injured. Jeez, <laughs> just horrific luck. And from what I've been reading, it's his knee. I'm really hoping it's nothing too crazy, but he does have one goal in his first three games. An, an empty netter. Now, moving on, we're going to talk about a guy. I mean, I can't even say his name without feeling like I'm cursing. But it's Bogdan Kanyushkov. What a beauty. He was drafted in 2023 in round four. He likes dancing. He also likes dancing the blue line. Man, just unreal stuff coming from this kid out of Russia. I'm really hoping one day he does decide to come to the NHL because from what his head coach has been saying, he's got a really high ceiling. Nine points already in 20 games in the KHL, getting big minutes and looking really bogged in good in the process, boys. Gotta love it. But that does it for this little prospect update. Obviously, I didn't talk about everyone, but I mean, I did talk about quite a few, including Mario Armia. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. As always, don't forget to take the like button for a long walk off a short wharf before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.